Once again, we are trackside along Kansas City Southern's Meridian Speedway. Starting off during nightfall in Ruston, Louisiana, we have the Union Pacific Intermodal speeding through town with a trio of Norfolk Southern GE locomotives. A few days later, I found myself on the outskirts of town at milepost 105 to intercept the same intermodal. This time, Union Pacific let their own power lead the stack out of Hollywood Yard and travel to Atlanta. Just after the UP cleared, I got word from a fellow Louisiana Rail fan that KCS 4006 was heading my way. On a limited time frame, I moved to Simsboro to catch mixed freight MSHAR heading east. On point was a pair of tier 4 locomotives, one being GE KCS 5001 and the other being EMDX 7227, one of the several least tier 4 SD70s. Four thousand six was fulfilling the role of DPU duty. If you look closely, you'll see that the already crooked nose decal of four thousand six appears to be peeling off, exposing the original yellow decals. The following day in Gibson, Louisiana, I saw what no rail fan wants to see while trackside, MOW equipment moving along the main line. Thankfully, they would be getting off the main line and entering a small storage track about five miles west. The local short line known as the Louisiana and Northwest kept me busy until the Class 1s decided to send some traffic. Dispatch called the crew of KCS 5022 and gave order to diverge into the Gibson siding to meet an eastbound. The incoming westbound had a tier 4 trio as a consist, one tier 4 Jeevo on the lead, one of the EMDX least tier 4 aces, and another EMDX banana tier 4 ace on DPU. The black tier 4 has earned a nickname by rail fans, Blackberries. These units were built for the Norfolk Southern before NS cancelled their order when they were nearly complete, which explains the black paint scheme and their flashing ditch lights. These tier 4s appeared to be in charge of GMTKC. This grain train originates in Mississippi, heads for Duramus Yard in Shreveport, where it will then turn north and make the journey to Kansas City.
With the grain out of the way, I could see the eastbound it was meeting. It was the daily intermodal that runs from Wally, Texas to Atlanta, Georgia, IDAAT. Three NS locomotives were leading the charge. On point was NS7600, a General Electric ES40DC. It was followed behind by another ES40DC and a Dash 9. The crew was nice enough to give us a solid horn show.